Shweta here. Welcome back to my channel. I apologize up front for my voice. I'm still recovering, but uh, I was simply bored out of my wits and had to share something with you. So I'm deciding to go ahead and do this voiceover and get this video out there. Um, I hope you will stay with me. Um, so today what we are going to do is we are going to use several different club goodies from Spellbinders and we are going to experiment with adding colors to the embossing folder and we are also going to experiment with how we can use some of the different kits together in a way that eventually makes sense so that's the kind of goal for this video here what you see me do is i have picked up the april 2022 embossing folder of the month by spellbinders and I have arranged my card, I have taped my card front to it exactly where I want the sunburst to come out from. And then on the other side of that embossing folder, on the inside of that embossing folder, I am adding color. I'm using two different colors from Simon Says Stamp Ink and using my sponge daubers, I'm adding color to the inside of it. I used some scratch piece of paper to see how intense the color was. I was hesitant to add a lot of color up front, so I have kept it light. Worst case, if that is not enough color, I can go back and add more, but taking color out is always not possible. One, another thing to note here is because of the way my sunburst is placed, my, the top of my card, the fold of my card, I don't want that to get embossed. So. When lining up the plates on top, I made sure I lined it up only till the fold line, not beyond that. So as you can see in my card base, only the front part is embossed and not the back part. Now, as I was expecting, the color was not as intense as I would have liked it. So I went back with the same colors and the same sponge toppers, added more color after it was embossed. And you can see the difference. It's become much more vibrant now. Um, when I started planning for this card, I had planned for like a um, rainbow and a flower bird a sprig or something and I had intended that to be my card but somehow the whole vibe was wrong in my head. The yellow and the reddish tinge that my colors got because there was pre-existing color on my sponge rubber, it simply didn't go with the rainbow pink. So I decided to change it completely. I picked up another set of um, die cuts and here I'm combining two different kits. I believe they are December 2022 and January 2023 card kits. So these things are coming from there, all the die cuts. Um, I arranged them to look like the sun is coming up in, in the middle of some branches. There is a bird house and a bird is sitting on top. I think it will be a great um, housewarming or hello kind of a card. So that's what you see me do here. Um, so um, just like just like what I'm doing here, it's your card. You can feel free to change it halfway through what you plan and take it in a completely different direction. Uh, please, I encourage you to give yourself permission to do that. You'll be surprised how often um, I do it and how often I'm pleasantly surprised or happy with the end result because of the change in direction. So all I'm doing here is assembling a few things. The yellow circle-ish, star-ish thing you see in the middle is part of the stitching club, the inside star that had come out. So I just assembled all those things together and now I'm trying to pick the sentiment. Somehow I was not happy with whatever I was picking. I picked up you are loved, I picked up hello and I tried to do all the positioning and a lot of different things. Somehow it didn't make sense in my head and that's why I kept switching. Um, I even decided to go ahead and pretend the sentiment is already stuck and do add the sequence and see if it looks good but uh, I was just not satisfied so I kept on going. Uh, so you see me try the hello one here. I switched from you are loved to something else. Finally, I realized that what I was really lacking is in the bottom left corner. I needed some more greenery to make it look more fuller. So I used one of the larger leaves and used a punch to punch out 
the greenery because I did not want a large leaf out there. I also dissected one of the um, existing die cuts and pulled out only the leafy part which is actually a plant but it worked like leafy part over here and I tucked it under the bird and that made it look like okay now it's really kind of a rainforest kind of an area and a lot of greenery out there and then finally I settled with the congratulations as my sentiment and I plan to use it for I think I know who I'm going to give this to they recently bought a house so I'm thinking this is like a good housewarming congratulations kind of a card and to finish it off I'm just tucking in few sequins they also came in one of the kits I don't remember which one exactly but one of the card kits from Spellbinders and here you have it my final card I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy process and learned a thing of two thing or two or got inspired to combine your kits and get something more out of them i'll see you with another card project pretty soon till then happy crafting bye